Hello there viewers, I'm your host Thomas Weitzel, and this is another Genre 101. Today we'll be tackling the genre of action role-playing games, or ARPGs. ARPGs have become a major juggernaut in recent years of gaming. More and more developers are abandoning the old style of turn-based combat that dominated RPGs from their inception. So how far back can we trace this phenomenon? Well, there are some notable games that brought action elements to RPGs, such as Dynamicro's Dungeons of Daggeroth and Koji Sumi's Bakusuka Wars. The pioneer of the genre was Nihon Falcom's Dragon Slayer. Released in 1984, the series brought real-time combat together with traditional stat tracking and leveling systems, as well as systems in place to relegate item management, as the player only had a limited number of slots. While not the first game in the genre, it was the first to fully integrate real-time combat without turn-based elements, leading it to be considered the first true ARPG. As far as classification goes, ARPGs must meet two requirements. First, there must be character progression. A leveling system or skills that the player enhances are a must in an ARPG, as they are a must for RPGs in general. A game can't truly be an ARPG without being an RPG as well. On a similar note, real-time combat is also a must. Action games are just that, action-y. Without a real-time combat system, the game cannot be classified as action-oriented. That being said, strategy is still a key factor in an ARPG, with the skill system dictating how one can best dispatch enemies, while the action system keeps the player constantly engaged, with strategy changes being made on the fly. While the genre did get its start in Japan, it has since been adopted by Western developers. Most notable of these developers is Bethesda, whose Elder Scrolls series, starting in 1994 with Arena, is still a mainstay in the genre today. Japan still creates ARPGs, however, such as From Software's critically acclaimed Dark Souls franchise, often hailed for its high but fair difficulty and open-ended story that allows for a great level of player input, as well as Square Enix's Kingdom Hearts series. Well, that's all for today. If you want more Genre 101, check out Tyler James's video on MOBAs on our YouTube channel, and subscribe to stay up to date on all VGHL content. I'm Thomas Weitzel, and thank you for watching.